Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT transmission line fault identification and alerting to the blink application. So in this project we are going to detect the two faults. One is short circuit fault between these three phases R, Y, B and open circuit fault individually R, Y, B. So whenever the short circuit fault so R and Y these two lines are short circuited then the Arduino you know will identify that with the help of this current sensing circuit and based on that it will on the LED indication respectively for example R and Y is short circuit then R and Y will on and so called status will be displayed on the 16 by 2 LCD screen and buzzer will get switched on and the so called same status will be intimated through the blink application using Wi-Fi module using the ESP8266 module. So in this application we can see the continuous status and alerts also so now it is showing the red icon here so that indicated uh, indication as the device is offline now so before switching on this switch let me explain the connections so this r y b through this current sensing circuit interfaces to the uno board at a0 a1 a2 pins and lcd module at pin number 22 pin number 7 and these three leds at uh, 10 11 12 13th pin for the buzzer and ESP8266 module at 8 and 9 pins are interfacing directly and remaining pins so these are the 5 volts connections to check the uh, current sensing from this RYB phases so right so now before switching on this kit we need to enable the hotspot in your phone so for that go to hotspot settings of your phone change the hotspot name to project 50 sorry 5031 right 5031 project id and password should be 12345678910 so without any space and without any capital letter that is very important so if you miss any character the system will not connect to the wi-fi and uh, you will get you will not get the output on the blink application so after the enable the hotspots enable the data and log into the blink application stay on the screen as the device is offline now so now switch on the power supply to the kitch so then there will be a welcome message on the lcd screen so we can see that now the status is normal and you got it there is no red mark here so continuously we are getting the alerts messages on the lcd screen so let us do the short circuit between the r y b so now I am making R Y short circuit. So R and Y, sorry, this is B actually. So this is R Y B. Let us, I will wrote that. So right now R Y B. So I am making a short circuit fault. So I am shorting them. So then R and Y lights on. So you will get the same alert message in your phone. R Y S C fault, nothing but short circuit fault. And the same L C D also. Right. So next, Y and B. Okay. And next, R and B. So I'm shorting the R and B. Same R and B lights on. Mm -hmm. You will get the alert messages in your phone also. Mm -hmm. Same messages you can see on the LCD of Blink application also. So now let us see the demonstration for open circuit. Till now we check the short circuit fault for RB, YB and RY. So now open circuit. Just I am disconnecting the right. Once you make the disconnection. So right, there is no connection for the B. R5 is OC fault, nothing but open circuit fault. Right. And same B fault. Sorry, Y. So Y phase, open circuit fault. Same you can see for every alert, you get the respect to LED indication. Which one do you 
and now next make call for R phase. Same radial indication as well as R phase indication here, right? So in this manner, real timely we can get the R phase by B phase open circuit faults and line to line short circuit fault with the help of this current sensing circuit module by measuring the analog voltage by using this Arduino Uno board and based on that input we are going to provide the audible alerts through the buzzer visual alerts on the LCD screen along with LED indications and blink application alerts with the help of ESP-8266 module. Right.